right, what I've just done here to fashion uh, some case parts. Start with the base, just got some 3mm black acrylic. Um, and I've just drawn up, well, marked a line with a blade across there. Uh, well, I did the end point and then measured it with the ruler to draw a nice straight line across there. Uh, and done the same thing there. So, the idea is this is going to be the base part that goes underneath this. Um, and obviously, we'll come right to the end of the PCB there. Got the cutting blade here on the Dremel. Uh, if you're going to do this, make sure you obviously wear some protective goggles as well because you can have bits of acrylic flying up. Uh, you never know the disc could even shatter and splinter and fly off or something. The last thing you want is that in your eye or parts of that in your eye or even just bits of plastic in your eye. So we'll give that a go. Right, I've uh, cut the first piece out here. Um, <clears throat> some of the edges uh, just need a bit of sanding down. Uh, that's just a bit of an edge. Yeah, it needs sanding. So um, it's not too bad. On that side, that, that's the actual side, which is uh, it's pretty good. You can all that scratch. This is just going to be the base. It's going to go underneath, so you're not really going to see it anyway. But just need to work on just getting a nice, perfectly smooth um, edges uh, with those. You've got to be careful you don't do scratches like that. Obviously, when you get to do the um, the top part. But uh, yeah, I'll sand that down and uh, mount it uh, under there. Right, after a lot of messing with this acrylic, uh, I've not got the best job, but uh, use the flat sides, you know, like, uh, this is going to be the front, uh, believe it or not, uh, a massive hole in it, but uh, this will slide effectively inside like that, and it's going to fit flush with the uh, underneath like that. So that hole, the reason I've uh, put that hole there, you can see my finger, is uh, I've got some um, clear opaque, uh, well it's not clear, it's opaque um, acrylic and I'm going to put that little, just a little square of it in there, perhaps just glue it in with the glue gun um, so it's flush with the underneath of the, the case there um, and have an LED, uh, you know, sort of lighting up that whole area hopefully I'll be able to diffuse the light properly um, but yeah, because I've used the flat edge, you know, I've not cut this edge that's facing the outside it's, you know, it's pretty much flush with the board um, and it'll look okay, you know, it's, um, it, it covers all the gaps, you can't see, you won't be able to see any of the PCB, and obviously that bottom bit then, you know, uh, will uh, sit under the board, um, and that will just sit on top, so you'll still be able to see the front of the board there, um, I've still got some acrylic left, you can put see over there, um, I might just try and fashion a front piece to fit right across the front there, and then effectively, other than perhaps having a gap around the sides where you might be able to see the inside of the PCB, um, it won't be too bad, it'll look a bit better. Um, so uh, I'm going to have a go now, just cut out a piece, a small piece of uh, the opaque uh, just to stick with inside that and I'm just, I'll just glue that on with a glue gun. Uh, in fact I'm not even going to do that, I'm going to stick it on the under, underside of there and just you know, cut a small triangle out and then just glue that onto there and that should uh, deal with that. So I'm just going to use a hot melt glue um, just to secure that place and it will look sort of like that because it's opaque. If we get some uh, little LEDs positioned in the right place under there, it should uh, light up nice and blue when it's powered up. There you go, that's it glued in. Uh, now I'm going to put the front sort of piece uh, underneath and uh, attach that with a bit of glue as well, I think. Right, I need to make another cut. This is with the uh, film peeled off because I was just about to put this piece in and then I realised I'd uh, botched up. So I'd, what I've done is, because I'm going to cut, I need to cut this again and I effectively need to cut this piece off here, um, which I've kind of marked up, a little notch there, a notch over the other side. It's very close to that edge of that sellotape, but it should be alright. Um, I just decided just to cover the, the top part with uh, a bit of this, just to stop any bits going on there, which might vibrate around and scratch the, the front. Um, but effectively I'll show you why this is wrong, because Obviously, it's, it's going to slide in. It's going to slide in that way all the way along, and that. But by the time you get it completely in, your piece, your, your edge your connector for your bolt, you know, your cart slots is not going to be here. Um, I just didn't think about that at all. So if I cut that piece off, um, I'll show you underneath. And then effectively, it will be trimmed up to the inside of uh, that line there, and uh, there should be enough room there. There you go, you can see it assembled now. Um, just need to get the LED in there and get some, I want some washers or something to stand the board off the uh, acrylic at the bottom. Um, just by a millimeter or two all the way around. Uh, I'm gonna leave this, that side access panel for the dip switches there. Um, I might put something over this side here, fill this in, 
Um, I contemplated with putting a blanking plate across the front here as well, but to be honest, I'm inclined to leave this as it is because as it looks now, it's not too bad. You know, you imagine this wire won't be here, obviously, for the audio. This is just just a bodge onto my uh, uh, super gun at the moment to get stereo audio out the, the, through the scar there, but that will be routed internally and. Uh, I'll probably mount some of the ports um, on some of these side pieces here, maybe coming out the sides. I might have uh, scar. I've seen scar on other people's videos with added the scar socket here. I may do that. Um, and then, like I say, I might blank blank this panel off here and uh, have the game uh, controller points there. I'm not sure. And just leave this because if I ever get the 120 in one um, cart, that needs to you know you need to be able to plug that in there. Um, and I guess it's just useful for diagnostic and stuff, you know, having easy access to this. In order to, you know, fit this with nuts and bolts and stuff, obviously I already have the uh, bolts and the nuts. Um, I've just salvaged them from the four plastic, uh, like, you know, base uh, fitting, whatever they are. These are for obviously when you put them inside an arcade machine uh, cabinet or whatever, but it's never going to go back in a cabinet, so uh, may as well use those nuts. There you go, looking good. Uh, obviously, you know, the, the harness itself is a bit scratched and stuff, can't get around that, but um, it looks pretty good. Uh, I'll show you underneath. So, finishing touches there with the feet, you can see those four corners. Um, obviously, I've left a little bit of gap there, you know, for the uh, underneath of the circuit board and stuff, but that's okay. I mean, this wire is just temporary, and obviously, I need to mount the, the fittings, as I say, uh, once I get the sockets and things. Uh, I'll just show you this uh, lit up. And there you can see it lit up. I um, hope you found this interesting. Um, leave us a feedback or some comments and things and I'll see you soon.